Hello YouTube, my name is Jesse and I'm sure I look like a mess right now, but I have not been able to find any videos on YouTube for a 3.5 liter Chrysler high output V6 engine that's transversely mounted in a car to change out the water pump. So this is my video on what I've done so far and yeah, um, right now I have the timing cover off. The new water pump is in. Uh, this is what the water pump looks like as soon as I can find it. There it is. The old water pump here. This is apparently the issue. My, my coolant was leaking out of my car every single day. Um, and uh, this is the bottom of the um, water pump. here this is the bottom of the water pump and right oh shit right down here in the bottom of the water pump this is clearly a design flaw there's this seal right here there's a gap and a bolt goes through here and this seal around the outside edge and the coolant was leaking through here and coming out the back side right yeah, just, I'm just trying to do this one handed here coming out the screw hole in the back back here yeah so this is clearly a design flaw there should not be a missing chunk of metal right here between this because look I put some stop leak stuff in here to try to fix it and then it fixed it for a little bit but then it just screwed up my cooling system or my heating heating and cooling system and uh, so that's what this is right here There's, this is the second spot this stupid thing would stop moving and then I'll put it in the vise <sighs> So, right here, there is coolant, there's stop leak right here in this, because it was trying to stop the leak. It goes through here, and it comes out the back side. Comes out the back side, and there's, there's no, no uh, metal right here. No metal right here, in between this and this. So this gasket right here then starts leaking through this hole and then leaks out the back side and just leaks all over the place. And then as you can see here, the, uh, the coolant was leaking down from inside the bearing area um, right here. And then some of it was leaking out and around this area right here. So this is just a bad water pump. I mean, it still spins okay. Um, but it feels a little... There's a little play in it. Not much, but tiny little bit of play in it. And it doesn't feel real thick. Or there's no resistance on it. I mean, not a lot of resistance at least. But I bought a new water pump and I went ahead and already put it in. So there it is. New water pump is in there. It took 11 bolts all around the outside of it. Um, and something that I noticed while taking them out is that the um, there's three different sizes for the bolts. The ones that are raised, like this one, are the long bolts. This one here is flush. That one's raised. This is the medium sized bolt. That's the long bolt. Down here, there's a long bolt, a long bolt, a medium size, medium size, long, medium size. And this one is recessed. And that one is the um, short bolt. So there's a long bolt, a medium bolt, and a short bolt. And that one that's recessed is a short bolt. All the ones that are raised are the long bolts. And all the ones that are flush with the plate are the medium size bolts. 
So if you ever need to remember which ones were which as you're putting it in, there you go. Oh, right now I am just uh, getting ready to put the timing cover, the timing belt cover back on the car. Uh, it's about 9.30 at night. Um, I didn't have the car in top dead center whenever um, I took it apart, which posed to be a problem. And I spent the last hour trying to get things lined up. But I paint marked right there where the top dead center mark is on this cam. Or I'm not even sure what to call that part right there. That thing right there. I think it's a cam. Um, I'm sure that you guys will eat me up in the comments, but I'm an amateur. And then on this one, I did the same thing. There's a paint mark right there lining up with that. And then down in the engine, I paint marked uh, right there on the top of that. Oh, you probably can't see it. Uh, now there's a paint mark down there too to hit the top dead center mark. Um, and I just had a heck of a time. It took me about an hour to get... Um, all of the marks lined back up and the hydraulic tensioner put back in the car right there. There's the hydraulic tensioner. I reused the tensioner that was in it before. Um, there's clearly plenty of life left in it because I could barely use um, my vise here that I got this mounted in to be able to close it up so I could stick a nail in it and... Um, put it back to uh, status where it could be reused again. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, if you have a car like mine, I have an 08 Chrysler Sebring, and you're trying to do all of this, first of all, the power steering pump, um, the bolts for the power steering pump are a pain in the butt because they are, uh, let's see, where there it is. They are this. It is a E12. Um, uh, it's one of these. It's an E12. Oh, come on, focus on it. There we go. E12. Um, I'm not even sure what to really call these things. Let's see what it says on here. Yeah, I really don't even know what to call it, but... It's a socket E12 to get them out. Um, and to get them out, you have to put the um, socket, the 